Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Spade, and welcome to Tales from Battle Maison. In today's episode, you are going to see Mr. Talonflame in action as we start things off by brave birding everything. Because I was looking at the field, aside from uh, Delphox, I could knock everything out. So there's like a 66.6% .6 chance something would get knocked out as it happens. Uh, but now in comes the Aerodactyl, a rock type, not a good matchup for Talonflame, so I gotta do some wishing and some protecting as the freaking Aerodactyl is just uh, stone edging everything, and then Darmanitan is stone edging everything, so uh, I go into my Mega Metagross, you know, try to get it uh, off the Mega Evolution, which I actually managed to pull off. Uh, which is great, and so uh, gotta keep going for some wishes here. Uh, Delphox gets a special defense drop, doesn't matter. I actually get some significant damage on the Delphox, uh, which does come into play uh, later on. And at this point, I counted out that the Stone Edges are out, and the Delphox has the extra damage that I need to knock it out with the Brave Bird. So I do, and I get the wish from my Chansey. That's, that's another synergetic thing that I like about Talonflame and Chansey. And as you can see, the Aerodactyl is out of power points, as I counted. They only have five, because they don't use power point ups in the uh, Palmaison. So I knock out the Aerodactyl, and I get to knock out the Darmanitan. It does have some good uh, bulk in its HP, but its defenses are kind of paper thin. So I knock it out with the Brave Bird for the game! And that's what I really like about uh, Talonflame. It brings that instant power for the team that I needed in this match. And it was awesome. And then we move on to the next battle. And as you can see from the team matchup in the team preview, it's not really a good looking matchup for Talonflame. Especially because there is Heatran. And I cannot knock out anything in the field in one hit. But because there's that Heatran mainly, I decide to go for the U-turn, which I do have on this Talonflame. You turn on the first turn, go into my Dragonon to correct that team matchup. That is what I really, really like about having you turn on the Talon Flame. Is because in a situation like this one, where the team matchup isn't really that good, uh, I can go for the U turn and correct that team matchup by bringing out Dragonite, which can definitely deal with all of these Pokemon. Uh, because the thing is, if you didn't know, in rotation battles, you cannot rotate and switch. You can only switch out with your active Pokemon. The two Pokemon that are on the sidelines, they cannot switch out. Uh, but with U-Turn, you can do that. You can rotate and U-Turn and then switch out, which is really awesome. But anyways, shenanigans happened. Not really anything significant. Uh, I just uh, restored back my multi scale And then I go for Brick Break, which I do have on this Mega Metagross. But then I was like, it's not gonna stay in. But it did. So, uh, overheat happens, and Mega Metagross kind of gets destroyed there, because I was kind of impatient, I should have just gone for the Brick Break, but I didn't. So now I need to do this kind of the old and fashioned way, and the long way. But this is what uh, this team was made to do. This is what makes this team great. Because there are Pokemon such as Articuno, with 4 times super effective Ice Beam. There is uh, uh, Latios, the Mighty Dragon, with its uh, Dragon Pulse, is also two times super effective against uh, Dragonite, but I can take these repeated hits because I have Chansey supporting my Dragonite. I am always able to restore back my multi-scale safely because these special attackers on the field, they are doing absolutely nothing to my Chansey. So I'm pretty much always guaranteed to get off my wishes, barring some hacks happening like Ice Beam. That's the only thing I'm really fearing. But since there are so many potential chances of happening in the field, some, it's not really something that I'm scared of. Because there's pot potential of rotation, and then, you know, uh, the other Pokemon attacking, and not Articuno. Articuno going for something else, as in Ice Beam. So I like my odds. And so I knock out the Latios. Uh, but I still continue just playing safe because now the Suicune, the bulky Suicune was able to take my hit. But because I am at like plus 6 or plus 5, I'm, I'm not even keeping count. You know, it doesn't matter how bulky the Suicune is because I can still 2 it KO it and knock it out. Thanks to the safe setup I was able to pull off earlier. And now I just get to clean everything up with my Dragonite. Go for the Dragon Claw, down goes the Articuno. And uh, go for the EQ against the Heatran. Down goes the Heatran and get to knock everything out 
for the game. And then we got uh, one more quick match here. For the end of the show, you get to see the final move on Talon Flame, which I haven't shown to you so far. The reason why I'm using it, it's kind of a filler move, but it has its uses, like in this battle, kind of. So anyways, let's get the ball rolling here. Uh, go for my usual setup uh, with my Mega Meta Gross. Uh, go for the home close. Boost the boost here, right? And uh, get hit with the smackdown from the uh, landers. I honestly have not even seen that thing using Earthquake, so I wasn't really too worried. So go for the same head, but luckily the Cobalion does not use Metal Burst, because it sometimes does use it. So I could have played this definitely better, but it pays off this time, luckily. I tend to kind of play it risky, like I do here. I should have gone for the wishes, uh, but I didn't. Went straight for the attack. This time no bulky random Raikou with the defenses and the stuff. So knock his straight out. And the Landorus keeps going for the smackdown because that's what it does. Uh, but I don't finish it off. I don't finish off the Zapdos either and I get paralyzed by the static and then there's double teams. And I'm like, I'm saying no to that. So I go for the Aerial Ace, which I do have on this uh, Talonflame. And I get paralyzed again by the static. But luckily I don't get paralyzed and thanks to the Gale Wings I can still outspeed the Landorus and that will be the game. Did you say that with me? You should. Because that's the thing now. It's the thing. That was the game and that was the final move that I have on this talent flame because it comes in handy in situations like this when there's another Pokemon going for some double teaming shenanigans and if Mega Metagross uh, doesn't get get there in time or, or if it's knocked out at least I have the backup of having a move that doesn't miss you know if you don't want to miss Brave Bird in Battle Mage Swamp because there it can actually happen use air relays and that's what I did and I finished off that game and that's what I really like about Talonflame it's kind of a kind of an odd bird on the team literally uh, but because uh, otherwise the team is like super bulky and Talonflame is like really frail but it brings that instant power for the team and it has some uh, few niches as well as that and you know I can restore it back to uh, back to like full health with the wishes because it's taking a bunch of recoil usually with those brave birds and the flare flare birds and the flare blitzes and the stuff and things so there's also that but at this point as usual I'm rambling so it is time to call it an episode and see you guys next time until then this is Spade rambling and signing out peace